Hunter, this last decade couldn't have been easy for you. Your Canadian cable TV fame dwindling away. Your teenage fan base aging out of your fuck zone. <laughs> Just a sad has-been living vicariously through his own hair. <laughs> If your dead dad was alive to see the embarrassment you'd become, he'd probably kill himself. Hunter Collins versus Jeff Paul. Now I gotta roast my friend Jeff Paul, or as the portly is known to any cinephile he slammed his gut into, Alfred Inchcock. Seriously, I love Hunter. He's one of my best friends. But if he hurts my feelings out there tonight, uh, he's going to have to find his own ride home. Jeff the Potato Paul is about to get baked, boiled, and mother friggin' roasted. My strategy tonight is come out swinging, try to make him cry real early, and then, uh, and then hope he doesn't mention that he my wife. Give it up for Hunter Collins. Jeff Paul! Shut up! Shut up! Let's roast! First thing I want to say is it takes guts to roast. It's a good thing Jeff has too. <laughs> but we're best friends, which means we can be brutally honest with each other. Jeff, you're an unlikable, cream-filled and loser twat. You'll look like a Keebler elf if a Keebler elf ate 30 Keebler elves. See? That rolls off him like his gut off his other gut. <laughs> Brought a f***ing cookie. I have low blood sugar. <laughs> if you guys don't recognize international television juggernaut Hunter Collins, it's because he, uh, he hasn't been on TV since Russell Peters was relevant. <laughs> Hunter, this last decade couldn't have been easy for you. Your Canadian cable TV fame dwindling away. Your teenage fan base aging out of your fuck zone. <laughs> Just a sad has-been living vicariously through his own hair. <laughs> if your dead dad was alive to see the embarrassment you'd become, he'd probably kill himself. <laughs> Jeff Paul is so racist, he won't eat guacamole because he feels it stole Onion Dip's job. 